Okay, what the heck is this silly thing? Well, obviously it kind of tells you right in the front, it's a hot water maker. It's a hot water tank. But it's designed for use with a boiler. So that I could take the hot water that comes off the boiler and I could run it through this thing and uh, it would heat domestic hot water. Now there's a little more to it than that. It doesn't actually exchange water with the boiler because the boiler water, you don't ever want to come out of the boiler. So there's a heat exchanger in the bottom of this thing. Well, let's look at a couple of parts here. Okay, there's a thermostat right in the middle of it. You just set the temperature you want. If you look close, you can see it says 120 degrees and about the middle. And all that does is if you look over to your left a little bit, there's some wires sticking out. Those will actually turn off a zone valve, a pump, whatever the heck is uh, diverting water to this water heater. So that's all that is, and there's a sensor goes inside. We're going to take a look at the bottom of this next, and you see how it's plumbed. Here looking at the bottom, you can see several components. This is like a boiler drain here. Uh, here's one side of the heat exchanger, here's the other side of the heat exchanger. This is the water coming in. I'm going to take this plate off here and we'll take a look at what's inside. Okay, here's a look at the heat exchanger itself. You can see the two tubes coming in this way, spiraling around, and then they come back out here. So. I don't think it makes any difference which way the the water goes in this thing. Uh, here's the water inlet right here. And you can see it's got several holes in it. It's got one on the top and two on the sides. That's so it doesn't just throw the cold water straight up. So it spreads it out under there and then the heat exchanger can uh, uh, warm it. Now. The thermostat, which is right here, has a bulb here. And that bulb, it's kind of interesting about this bulb. It goes clear up there. I mean, that's not actually the bulb. That's, that's the tube the bulb sits in. But it goes all the way up this heat exchanger. Very simple. There's really not much to these things. But they're an excellent... Uh, heater Just to give you a little bit of a close-up here of these fins because that is just a tube with fins on it So you can see those fins and they uh, They're not very long the you can see they're they're pretty uh, Pretty small, very simple, not much to them, just a heat exchange coil and a uh, thermostat, pretty much, and a tank, so, uh, or pressure vessel. So uh, that's all there is to these things. Uh, I don't remember the capacity of these things. I'm sure they would exceed any 40 or 50,000 BTU water heater. Because you are using the boiler, which could be anything, you know, from 50 or 60,000 BTUs up to, you know, half a million. Uh, or more, I suppose, is bigger. But uh, that's the Amtrol uh, water heater that works off of the boiler.